Hello my beautiful cappuccinos <clears throat> and welcome to your general reading. Today we're going to see what's coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa. So just take what resonates, switch the gender, switch the roles, do what you've got to do and leave the rest, okay? Sorry, if any of you would like to book a personal reading, you know what to do. It's down below in the description box, okay? So for my beautiful cappuccinos, what do you have? Okay, oh, we got a minute, hold on. Hold on now. I really need to like wash my hair. Okay, we have the sleek ponytail. It says perfection, accuracy, and loyal. Okay, beautiful energy. And then we have the straightener at the bottom of the deck. It's a straight to the point, professional, and assertive. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, I feel like you could be speaking to someone and you're trying to just be direct. Okay, I feel like as well, like, um, I feel like when you talk, you're so accurate in what it is that you are saying. So some of you could be very intuitive or just very factual. So it's very hard for people to like um pull one over on you it's very hard for people to argue with you because you're just straight to the point you're just like listen actually no that's not what happened it happened at two o'clock five days ago and this is what happened and this is what i said this is what you said this was the situation and i've got the receipts to prove it okay you could be talking to a professional as well or somebody could be very surprised at how professional you are how assertive you are but I feel like you're perfect. Also, if you are applying for a job, I feel like people love you because you have this natural professionalism about you. You could be very charismatic, but you're like, you're not someone that's going to like flirt with people or do you know what I mean? You know, like some people, they don't know how to um keep like that student teacher type relationship or the like the customer client relationship. There always has to be some kind of, you know, in the window or something like you're just like, nah, like this is business. Okay. So beautiful energy. If there's something that you're doing as well, I feel like it's perfection. Something you're doing, somebody like loves it. I feel like someone likes the fact that you're straight, direct, and to, to, to like just to the point. Like just no BS. I'm getting no bullshit. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Libra. You could have significant Libra placements. Maybe Libra Mercury or Virgo Mercury. A very matter of a fact, you know. Well, this is why you like someone. Yeah, we have the China bumps that wanted to come out. It says crossroads, direction, and strategy. Exactly. Then we have the deep condition at the bottom of the deck, which says TLC, compassion, and nurturing. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you know, I'm not saying that you're not compassionate, but I feel like you don't allow your emotions to kind of cloud your judgment when it comes to a situation. Okay, because I feel like with the China bump energy, it's almost like, you know, somebody could be trying to put you at a crossroads or trying to make you like confused or like, you know, or somebody could be trying to like, um, it's like seven of swords energy. Somebody could be trying to like outsmart you in some type of way. They could be using like emotional manipulation to do so. And you're just like, nah, like, you know, okay, I feel, I feel what you're saying, but still it is what it is. Okay. So I'm getting, like I said, what I said vibes, or you may be at a crossroads. You may be thinking like, okay, should I give TLC to this situation or should I just be to the point? Okay. I feel like either way, you know, but let's just see, let's see where this is going. Because I'm getting like emotional manipulation here, okay? Yeah, the Hermitess. Yeah, like I said, could be dealing with a Virgo. does not have to be. You could have Virgo and Mercury. Double Virgo energy. We've got the Ten of Wealth at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, like I said, it's just business. Empress of Wealth underneath that. This could be something to do with your family as well. Because I feel like you're just ghosting people. You're just thinking, you know what? If it's not about the money, then I don't want to know. Like, Or maybe you're turning away something because something isn't professional. Like somebody could be offering you a lot of money, but when you kind of look at the situation, maybe everybody's in their feelings and they're not, you know what I mean? Yeah, underneath that, because we have the crown, which says royalty, respect, and status. So I feel like you want to be respected in your position of work or something like that. But I feel like whoever you're working with, or maybe somebody wants to work with you, but they're too flirtatious. And it's like, well, I don't know about all of that, you know, because I don't know, you know, flirting's not really going to pay the bills, darling. Like, I've, I want to work with you. I want to fuck you, okay? So I'm getting something like that. Also, as well, with the Hermit test, you do your research because that's clarified by the sleek ponytail. So this is why you're so, you know, Virgo's raw perfection, you know, or you just you're very in sync with the ancestors, with the ancients. You see how she's in the cosmos right there and she's being guided. Go follow the yellow brick road. But like she's so enlightened with all that rainbow aura that she has. So I feel like some people don't understand how you get your information. It's like, how are you dropping all these gems, Virgo? You're just like, well, you know what I mean? I'm just in tune with places and frequencies you are not. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, Capricorn I'm doing though. So like I said, you could have significant Virgo placements. I don't know why I want to keep saying Virgo. 
or Libra, we have the Empress of Wisdom. You're just extremely wise. You see how I named it the Empress of Wisdom, not the Queen of Swords? So this is on top of the China Bob. So like I said, somebody's trying to throw you off, you know. But I feel like you're too smart for that. You're too smart for someone to try and... Um, like I said, yeah, Queen of Swords energy is like professionalism. You're too smart for someone to manipulate you in some type of way. This could be like a relationship sense as well. Maybe there's somebody that wants to be with you and they're trying to like, you know, be like, you know, play on your emotions and you're just like, nah, I'm sorry. Let's just get straight to the point. Let's just get direct here. Because maybe you're a very loyal person, but people are not loyal to you. So you're like, you know what? I'm just, I'm not dealing with anybody that doesn't understand loyalty, doesn't understand professionalism, doesn't understand respect. You know, I just, I can't be around you, motherfuckers. It is what it is. Yeah. Now someone feels bad as fuck. Could be dealing with the, um... Scorpio, we have the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody feels bad and guilty. Okay, Cha. someone feels guilty, they feel bad. Okay, somebody could have, like I said, they could have been trying to lie to you or strategize or something. So I feel like maybe you ghosted someone, you left someone because you just felt like it was the wise decision. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to be confused, you know, like bumps in the road with the China bumps. You're going up the hurdles, bumps in the roads. You know, you don't know what direction you're going in. It kind of seems like a maze. You want to be around people that are just accurate, straight to the point, straightforward, honest, and truthful. So someone could be feeling really guilty about lying to you. Yeah, they want to apologize, okay? That's what I'm getting. Hmm. All right, so let's just see... The Queen of Wisdom. I just want to know what the Empress of Wisdom has to say. Yeah, the Six of Cups. It's definitely a Scorpio. Somebody who's got significant Scorpio placement. Somebody from your past. Or somebody's thinking about something that happened in the past. Okay, this could be about a child as well. But yeah, we got the Page of Cups. There's that apology again. Yeah, and then the Eight of Wands. So I feel like somebody wants to apologize to you for something that they did or something that they said. Or maybe for trying to outsmart you or thinking that you were stupid or something. Or for not being professional. Someone feels guilty about that. Maybe somebody made the judgment. But yeah, with the deep condition, I feel like someone's in deep regret. Deep emotions right now, okay? I mean, good God. Sorry, guys. My hair is like really messy and it's irritating me. I don't like when it's in my fucking face okay so let's just get a card for you guys yeah you need to stop being stubborn yeah so maybe somebody was very stubborn or they had a lot of ego they didn't like to admit that you were right or that you're just very wise okay i just feel like you just know a lot you've got significant virgo and libra placements or somebody else does so yeah you're dealing with someone who's very like martian with the scorpio energy so that like egotistical, you know, they're, they're into the mysteries and everything like that. They feel like they're like illusionists and they can get one over. But it's like, well, actually, nah, my nigga, like I'm a bit more wiser than you, darling. I mean, what degree are you in your sign? Let's just start there. Like, what's your palace saying? I always want to know where someone's palace is because that represents um your strategy, your wisdom, you know, ruled by Athena, the asteroid. Or um your palace, your Mercury. And... um. ninth house okay because your ninth house is your higher self your higher knowledge palace is very similar but it represents like strategy wisdom how a person thinks and then obviously you know um gemini's communication ruled by mercury very intelligent sign um your mercury sorry is ruled by gemini and virgo so i like to to focus on those placements because then it will let me know where somebody's like mindset is at do you know what i mean because sometimes i meet really smart people but they make really stupid decisions and i'm just really confused i'm just like well why would you do that do you know what i mean i'm like oh okay you know they've got that in their sign oh okay they got that in their mercury oh it's at like zero degrees okay now it makes sense do you know what i mean so i feel like you know i feel like someone didn't really know your chart or someone just thought that you were stupid or something maybe with this energy somebody thought you were a bit of a goody two-shoes it's like you know when you're a bit of a goody two-shoes people feel like you're naive you don't know anything you don't know anything about bad stuff you're just like i know i'll be knowing shit i just don't be doing bad shit but i'll be knowing about it okay and then we have it's time to treat yourself at the bottom of the deck so maybe somebody wants to treat you or yeah stop wasting time i feel like someone feels like they're running out of time 
and then a wish is coming true be grateful okay so you could be receiving some kind of wish maybe you're wishing for someone to like um apologize or like face themselves or guilt or something like that or maybe you're wishing for people to see you as somebody who's smart because maybe you're very attractive but you're i feel like you don't express your intelligence around certain people because when you do people try to um like one up you or they try to make you feel small or they're threatened by your intelligence or maybe people don't focus on that like if you're very attractive and you're trying to have a wise conversation someone could be trying to bring something back to your looks or they could be trying to be sexual with you and you're just like well actually i don't want to talk about that you know i want to talk about this i just feel like maybe some of you don't really understand how like attract because i'm getting something about attraction here okay yeah multiple streams well that's beautiful energy yeah if it ain't about the money then yeah and then store me exactly i feel like someone's going for a storm right now yeah you could have put up healthy boundaries with people like i said because it's like if it's you're focused on making money or you know what i mean maybe you're, you're just focused on your goals and i feel like people are focused on other things so i feel like somebody feels bad they could be going through the dark night of the soul right now maybe someone's reflecting and they see that you're really sweet or you've been really kind to someone i feel like somebody wants to do something kind for you because out of guilt but i feel like like i said somebody was trying somebody thought you were naive here because like i said there's something really sweet about you it's like you got the six of cups energy but you know you're you're the queen of swords the empress of wisdom i named it in this deck okay the hermitess you know the mysteries that's not the seven hermetic laws you know the seven chakras the seven heavens the seven um rules of my art i mean it's like 42 but do you know what i mean there's like seven main rules you could be born on the seventh as well the number seven is very significant i feel like you're a very spiritual person you're very in tune okay we have surprise expect the unexpected so yeah somebody may surprise you and then we have indulge you deserve to be spoiled exactly i feel like people feel guilty and they want to do nice things for you so people who weren't nurturing and loving and caring and supportive to you before or they weren't respecting you now they want to excuse me i feel like you're going to be very surprised to know this as well you're just like really especially with the stop being stubborn like i said with that um scorpio mars energy you could be dealing with someone who's like really stubborn so I feel like you're going to see like a different side to someone. Like someone is very apologetic right now. Okay. But I feel like you need to you need to put up healthy boundaries in order for people. Like it's the only way people see your value really. Do you know what I mean? Or this could be you. But I doubt it because I don't even see you in the reading. Okay. So expect an apology. Expect a surprise. I feel like you're going to get spoiled. Okay. In some type of way. I feel like someone doesn't want to be stubborn anymore okay but thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed the reading please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe bye